One can't help but be struck by the sheer courage of our Lord. He loved the world so much. He loved you and me so much that he was willing to put himself in a crucifiable situation to save the likes of you and me. Y'all ain't shouting yet. Let me say that again. He loved the world so much. He loved you and me so much that he was willing to put himself in a crucifiable situation for the likes of you and for me. J Jesus, in other words, was willing to do his father's will even in a dangerous situation. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is it ought to remind those of us who claim to be followers of Jesus that we may also be called by the father to do his will in dangerous situations there there are people saints right now who are carrying out the great commission of christ to make disciples in other lands and they are telling people about christ but they are doing it in dangerous situations the reason why you can't identify with that is because you live in america and you tell somebody about jesus the worst that will happen to you is somebody will roll their eyes at you but there are people right now who are literally giving their lives so that somebody else will know about Jesus. In fact, it's not only dangerous to share your faith, but it's even dangerous to live out the faith that sometimes you share. Because see, if you're a child of God, you're supposed to be living by kingdom principles. And if you know what the kingdom principles are, you know that kingdom principles are on a collision course with the principles of this culture. Kingdom principles are principles like love and justice and compassion and truth. But you know and I know that if you know the world, I know that this world does not embrace love and justice and compassion and truth. But we live in a world that is often intoxicated by power and greed and selfishness and indifference and militarism and monetarism and materialism. And so when you live by love, justice, compassion and truth, Sooner or later, you're going to get in trouble because, see, if you love, live by love in a world of hate, if you live for justice in a world of injustice, if you live for compassion in a world that's indifferent to the least of these, sooner or later, somebody's going to talk about it. Sooner or later, somebody's going to threaten you. Talk to me. Somebody, there's some politicians right now who love the Lord who are trying their best to minister to the least of these by passing the health care bill and some of them's going to be voted out of office because there are other people in our world that don't have compassion and love. Oh, Y'all don't hear me. And justice. 